a Dana Smith. It's something about property. I was A H I N D A H Smith. Last name Smith. Adina. I don't see that she bought anything. It says it. It did. It's online. It wasn't this year. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything. Uh huh. But I also don't have the deceased name to go out there. So you had to have the deceased name to go out there. I mean, her name's not popping up. How'd you spell it? A H. Mm -hmm. Am I spelling right? A H D. Even if I put an AH, it's only one person that pops up and it's not her. 43 April 13th birthday, 1980. Whose birthday are you giving me? Hers. Oh, it wouldn't show up. Okay. A. She was trying to find I had an inheritance in property that was. Left to me, my cousin is a Dina Smith, and when I looked online and did a uh, did a uh, uh, like a background check mm -hmm. and stuff, she had a case with you all here. She filed a petition. She filed something or with property, and it said property. It said probate court. Goodness, I might need to get it and print, print it out and bring it here, huh? Right. That would have helped. But you're able the to case do number. online. Though. Well, it, it wasn't online. It was through like a, a background check uh, company. It was a record one. The oh, well, I looked in the oh, right. Right. You need that. You need yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and the case number, you, that would help too. If you just can give us a deceased name, we can. I don't know the deceased name. I'm not sure who. Uh, so who's who? Who left the property then? Right. That's what I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. That I know I'm uh property was left for me. I've been searching for my inheritance um that was left. But I know she filed a court and it's a so lot. So you don't know the person that left you something? No. Oh, okay. I don't know. I think it was her, uh, my, my dad's sister. Mm -hmm. But yeah. we were estranged and I was young. So I'm not quite sure of the name. So I'm kind of running around trying to hunt down my inheritance. But I know it's in court. And they said it was in probate court. Well, they didn't get us a name or it was or a case number or case something number like that. Or name or okay, that's what I need to do. Her or name or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Merry can... Christmas, that's Smith. It. Her mom is Merry Christmas. I let's see, but nothing comes up with Adina. I said Merry Christmas. I know with a right. C or a K. Uh, C. Okay. Smith. Smith. Well, no, not no. Uh, you said Merry Christmas, Smith. So uh, not, that's not her middle name, uh, Christmas. It's Merry Christmas. Is her first name. Wait, so, so wait, Mary, wait, wait, wait. Mary's the first name? Merry Christmas is her first name. Oh, together. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> just... Debbie Sue Lane. I think it's Debbie. No, um, I'm talking about like address. Oh, no. we don't need We need the name. Okay. Okay. I'll just type M and Smith again. This is it. Um, no. I'm going to to definitely need to know who the decedent is. Okay, and then can you look up Epasha Carter? That's my previous legal name. EPA. That's the first name or the last name? First name. Okay. EPA. S H A. And you said Carter? Yeah, Carter.
and you don't have the paperwork where you found all that on? No, no, no. So I need to. I saw it online. It was for Clayton County Probate Court. So I guess I'm gonna have to get the uh, case number and come back. Y'all don't have like uh, public defenders or something like that for probate court? Or? We have a uh, legal aid. Legal aid. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can I get let's get for now the legal aid? Yeah. It's only for here though, not you know any other thing. It's also probate. Only for probate, Clayton. Clayton. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you, ladies. Once you find out, you know, just come back. Come back.